Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, to radar we go. The current state of affairs, blue as snow. So we already had wave one blow through the uh, the Wasatch, and it's moving through Colorado. What's left of it is moving through Colorado. Then you have that break on radar over the Tetons and the Wasatch. But the next wave, the second wave, already diving down on that west-northwest flow out of Idaho, Montana, and the Pacific Northwest, that will hit the Tetons and the Wasatch this evening, overnight, into 118. That will then dive into Colorado overnight into 118 as well, lasting a little bit longer in Colorado. So we still have significant snow yet to accumulate in a number of places as a result of this. Let me take you up to Alta. So we're in waiting now. We're in between waves. We picked up about nine inches already. You could add another nine up at Alta and Snowbird to what you've already got. So we, we've got this second wave yet to come. Up in Steamboat, looking really good. You've picked up six to eight inches so far and you've probably got at least another six to eight inches to go out of this that next wave comes in overnight into tomorrow all right let me show you what uh, my bullet points are my latest thinking this afternoon so wave number two comes in overnight into 118 utah wyoming colorado um, we still got 12 to 14 inches yet to go for the tetons so tomorrow's going to be a big powder day unquestionably an additional 5 to 10 inches in the Wasatch on top of what you've already got out of Wave 1. An additional 2 to 8 in Colorado on top of what you've already got out of Wave 1. Then we transition into a Pacific pattern, 119 through 126. Much warmer, higher snow levels, different quality of snow. Um, what we're going to see is just waves of moisture um, get thrown into the interior. Just kind of ragged. Um, strong subtropical jet. I'll show you that coming up here. And that will be really one of the mechanisms that helps to fire this fire off this pattern. Let me take you back. I want to show you the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the current state of affairs by this evening. Again, snow trickling down and nails the Tetons, the Wasatch, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado overnight into tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, snow continues in all those areas. There's at 6 a.m. There's tomorrow afternoon. It, it kind of hangs on in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. And then it all comes to an end. Pattern begins to shift through 119 and 126. It's mainly this Pacific pattern, warmer air, higher snow levels, for example, in the Teton, in, in the, uh, the Sierra, we're going to have 8,500 foot uh, freezing levels. So you're going to have to be at 8,500 feet or higher to get significant snow with these waves coming in. There was a, a southern track low there on 121 and 122, which could benefit the Four Corners and northern New Mexico a little bit more. But again, this is just a totally different pattern than what we have been seeing recently. The cold air is locked away at this point. Once we get through this pattern, this is 118. At this point, again, that west-northwest flow and storm system moving away by the afternoon, evening hours. And this really illustrates my point. Cold air locked away in Canada at this point. Strong subtropical jet opening the door, blowing in Pacific warmth and Pacific moisture. And you know what? That's the case all the way into 126. This looks really impressive, like I've been saying, but it's not. There's no cold air with this. So you're, you're, you're just purely bringing in Pacific warmth and if you're at a higher elevation, you get snow. And at times, there are these southern track lows that, uh, that move through the southern tier. All right, new grand total map. You can see the numbers yet to accumulate the rest of 117 today through 126. Um, anywhere in purple is a foot or more. And there are a lot of places that still have that amount of snow yet to go. Um, let me zoom in. Central to northern mountains of Colorado. Uh, actually, we'll start in the West Elks. So West Elks, um, you can see the numbers. Not a whole lot yet to fall in Snowmass Aspen, Aspen Highlands. A bit more of a crested butte in the pass in that deeper blue shade. Now let's go to um, the I-70 corridor north. Again, not a lot in Beaver Creek West. Um, and maybe another 6 to 8 across uh, Summit County up to the Continental Divide. Obviously more yet to go up in Steamboat and Buffalo Pass, Cameron Pass. You always get hit a little bit harder with this pattern. Um, here are the uh, here's the time scale for this, the phases. Um, let me take you back to phase. Uh, so there's one. Let me take you back to the first phase. Here's 117 through 118. Then we'll get to the second. So between today and tomorrow, another 6 to 8, another 6 to 10 for the Wasatch. At least a foot up in the Tetons. In Colorado, another 2 to 8. All right, here is that second period. 119 through 126. About a foot, maybe more in the Sierra above 8,500 feet. Um, another foot for the uh, the Tetons, another foot for the Wasatch, and pretty light snow unless you're in southwest 
southern Colorado or northern New Mexico with the, that southern track low. Quite a bit of snow in that second period for BC in the Pacific Northwest. One last stop. Let's go to the um, let's go to the northeast. Again, like I said this morning, nothing consolidated, no major storm systems, just light snow throughout the period. Um, of about two to eight inches. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Let's end on the grand total map. Again, you can see what lies ahead. Wave two comes in tonight in, in Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado into tomorrow, and that will definitely be at least half of the numbers that you see right here. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I'll talk with you later. Thanks for tuning in here.